Okay, I wanted to make a more up-to-date video on the items list printing capability in Label Connector from AccuWare. Um, there, could, there can be situations where you need to just use the items list in QuickBooks as your means for printing labels with Label Connector. Now, the reason I say this is because you can use other modes. You can use orders in QuickBooks, which is an even quicker way to print many items all in one click because you might have 30 items on an order and we can print that whole batch of labels for all those items in one click but let's say you have inventory that's not in an order anywhere or you're making inventory or it's already on the shelf it's already been brought in and received uh, and you want to label that you can use the items list in QuickBooks as the source for data for label connector and we can make use of you know most of the fields in the item screen we can also make use of the uh, custom item fields in the item any of this data can be brought into the label so um, and again again we like to consult with you on the different ways that you can use label connector but in a situation where you just want to use the items list we can certainly do that um, we have a search filter at the top of our screen you'll see in a moment that mimics the QuickBooks screen as well uh, just so that you understand how to do the searching uh, so if we open up label connector you can see our item list printing screen is behind the item list icon here um, you can see we can pull in the items and show them in a grid uh, and we can print labels for any of those items and you would have to design a label okay ahead of time uh, for use with the item list print mode in our software uh, and we can that's in some of our designer videos. I'll just touch on that lightly later. But um, so if you need to filter, you know, items here, we can do that. You know, you can search for anything, um, you know, that by certain fields. You can search for it in the item, you know, and filter down to to decide what you're going to print. Now. Um, down below here you can select what printer you want to use we store that uh, so that you don't have to keep selecting that and then you can also you know design again any one of a number of different templates um, for use with the item list mode now if I were to come in here as a new user what we would need to do is we'd need to synchronize your items um, and what we do is basically let you select the types of items that you want to synchronize and we make a local copy of the file uh, containing all your items. Now, the reason we do that is some people's item lists get monstrously large. So if we were reading that live all the time, it would be a huge query to send uh, for printing labels. So instead, we just take a snapshot of the items. But in all other modes in Label Connector, we use live data right out of the orders. So it's right up to the minute. So uh, but with the items list, once you synchronize, you can show all. And then you can select the item to print. Now, some of the more detailed features in here, uh, we do have an entry field. And you can rename this to kind of say whatever you want right here. So if you have to put in something that you don't know until the last minute before you want to print, and we can configure that column uh, to read any way we want. Uh, if, if it's some sort of proprietary input that you have, like maybe customer part number or anything that's a piece of data that's not known until the last minute when you go to print, um, we can synchronize and we can read um, the default bin locations or any of the locations where the item is in stock um, by synchronizing and pulling in the bin information. So, um, But if you design a label with our designer, um, basically, uh, I'll just open up like an example that we have already created here. And you basically, when you create this label, you the first step is you say the the mode I want to use is itemless mode, and then you put the dimensions of the label in, and then you start adding fields. And again, we have uh, ability to kind of go through the designer at a much more uh, detailed level in our designer video. So just to show you how this would function, um, if we were printing labels, you'd come in and say, okay, I want to print a label for this item. Um, I've already got the, the last printer I used saved, so it's nice. It stores the last printer you use, so you don't have to keep selecting that. And you see it, it saved that item list sample template. Um, if it's if it's the first time you're using our software you'd have to just select that the first time only um, 
to use that and then you just go ahead and say okay I want to print now we're going to print this to a PDF but normally you would print it right to your label printer so, but we'll just show you how this works <clears throat> and then we'll open up that file it's in our documents folder so we'll go ahead and grab that and label connector you can see here we have that I just created that and it's created this PDF you see we we made a, a barcode out of the item you can make a barcode out of any data that we support in QuickBooks um, and it pulled in all this information about the item um, so we can can use you know any one of like 30 different fields uh, that are based on the item uh, for printing the label uh, using the item list in QuickBooks so again useful for situations where you've just kind of go right on the item list as the way to print um, you know if, if you're using inbound material you can use the purchase orders and receipts to print labels but if you've already got it on the shelf or you're just creating inventory or there's no orders with this information on there you can simply use the items list to print labels so hope this helps you out in determining how to use our label connector product for QuickBooks thanks